Hello. Hello, everyone out there. How are you doing today? My roommate has stepped out, so I have decided to do my new moon reading, which is coming on March 24th. So these are going to be energies for the new moon approaching. Um, this is, for those of you that don't know, this is Remy. He's my new assistant. He's part of the Deep Soul Tribe now. He's a permanent member, a VIP member, if you will, and my assistant. He's here to remind you to subscribe and join the tribe. Thank you so much, Remy. We'll put you in your respective little spot here, your office, if you will. Don't fall down now. No, no sleeping on the job, dude. That's not the way it works here. Anyways, how are y'all doing? Um, I really wish I could go live on here. Um, but anyways, um... I get to a thousand subscribers, man. I'm going live on YouTube, unless I can get a laptop in the meantime. I do this on my phone. Anyways, if, if my tribe, thank you for tuning in. For anyone who's new, welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. Welcome to the Deep Soul Tribe place. Subscribe and join the tribe. Um, thank you for tuning in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kelly, for those of you who don't know. Um, so we're going to do a new moon reading. It will be a general read. So it may not resonate with all of you, but just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, keep that in mind. And um, energy, that time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So um, this may not resonate. So basically this reading is for, um, this may not resonate with all of you. Um, and I just said that already. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm really kind of loopy right now. Um, not in a bad way. Just saying. <laughs> um so, I'm going to do a reading just to kind of get the energies uh, going towards. So, we're having the new moon on the 24th. And, basically, <clears throat> the energies, if you don't know, the energies of the new moon is a good time to set up steps for um, setting up intentions, uh, manifesting things towards new beginnings. So, we do have a new moon in um, Aries starting March 24th. We are now, happy birthday to all the Aries. Um... We are in Aries season now. And so basically this is a reading for, um, to, to, from today, it is, it is uh, what is today? Saturday. Saturday, um, no, Sunday. <laughs> Sorry. No, Saturday. <laughs> Fuck. I need coffee. I need some more coffee. Um, Saturday. March. E twenty first. Oh yes, today is the spring equinox. Happy spring, everyone! Damn, we got all kinds of things going on here. I just knocked something over. I'm just rocking the place here. Anyways, so I'm gonna get going because I'm not sure when my roommate will return. I hope I don't get interrupted here. Um, she went to the store, so now I'm gonna do my reading because I have a little quiet time. So let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. So, anyways, this is a good time to manifest things, and basically with the new moon in Aries in particular. All right, do a little research, but. Um, because it's in Aries, not only is the new moon a good time to set up steps for setting things into motion for um, intentions and manifesting, um, it's, um, this is a good time. We're going to, it's more of an introspective time. It's a good time to kind of go into hermit mode and a good time to commit to personal goals that, um, express positive energies, um, because the ram, Aries and the ram is all about taking action. So it's a good time to take action. So, um, a good time to take action, a good time to try something new and go at it with gusto and confidence like the, an Aries would, like Aries energy. I have an Aries moon, so I'm going to pay attention, close attention to this because I do have an Aries moon. So this may resonate with me for sure. This is a good time to be assertive without being abrasive. Don't be too forceful, but it's a good time to be assertive. Um, take ch taking charge of our lives and um, st start a brand new project um, and discover our own personal courage. Um, and it's a good time now to make solid yet uh, realistic plans for our lives and set the a stage for reaping rewards for the new beginnings, big or small, it doesn't matter what it is, um, before the full moon, which is in two weeks. So this is a good time period for that, before the full moon. Um, it's a strong time to evaluate our relationship with ourself, especially with all of us who are on, I'm calling it lockdown. It's a shelter in place, but it's mandatory where I'm at. It's not optional. Like They're telling you not to be out and about unless it's 
it's serious stuff, you know, like a doctor's appointment. But this is a good time to take risks. And um, be adventurous. Go on adventure. So it's a good time to take action on whatever it is you may have been wanting to um, start in your life. Okay? I hope that all makes sense. Let's see what the cards. This is the um, Queen of the Moon Oracle deck by Stacy DeMarco which I basically use for moon readings and sometimes special occasions, planetary readings. So let's see what messages Spirit has for us today. All right. Let's see what cards come out. All right. Oh, my dip, dip, boo. Well, there's two, and then there's one that flew on the floor. They're all face down. Um, let's see what we have here. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get the bottom of the deck. Darkness. There you go. A long night moon. Darkness. This is very much what I consider hermit mode. So it's a time. It is definitely a time of, and underneath that is power. And so what I'm hearing with this specifically is this is a very, very good time to spend time alone and recharge our power. So this is card on the bottom of the deck is card number 40. And underneath that was card number 16, which is a full moon power, which I think I find is perfect because to me this is almost like this is the new moon to the full moon. So this is a good time for everyone to spend some time alone and recharge our power, get our power back. Maybe things in life have taken over, and this is, I mean, especially with this all happening, and I do think that this was divinely directed in some way, that it was meant to happen this way, that we could all have some time out to readjust and realign all our lives. As bad as it may be, and as bad as it seems, you know, again, try to find the positive in things, and I'm thinking this is the positive. Have faith, card number 31, that it will all work out. You know, um, it's, it, it's to me, see how the person is, um, first of all, the person is basically naked. So it's like a pure energy, an absolute pure energy of stripping, stripping away all the, the things that are holding you back. You know, it's like an unmasking. <laughs> Don't go out in the street and strip off all your clothes now, people. I mean, you could, but <laughs> you may get arrested. Uh, but this is a new time of rebirth. You know, have faith that everything will work out. This is a time of rebirth. And um, a time of creation. I really, this is card number 39. Uh, 39. It's a beaver moon. Um, it's a good time to be creative in all aspects of your life. And like it's saying, it's like it's saying that this is a good time to start new projects. You know, um, with, the, with the new moon in Aries. And um, time to take action. And go at it with gusto. You know, um, set the stage for reaping rewards from new beginnings. You know, set the stage and discernment. I'm almost hearing that your head is in the clouds. I'm kind of muddled. Your head's in the clouds and it's hard to uh, ground yourself right now. You know, so... And I will be um, clarifying each of these. Um, just, you know, just to get some more energies here. Um, so as you're moving forward, it's a time to be adventurous and take risks. And it doesn't even have to be right now because a lot of us are not able to get out and about. Ours is set until uh, sometime in April. It was three weeks. It started on the 17th. And three weeks from that, and then they will reassess you know, what the situation is. Um, it doesn't even have to be. Um, so it's setting the stage. So this is a good time to manifest as far as internally in your mind, really think about your life and make plans for these adventures, for these projects. And maybe it's stuff that you can do at home that you haven't been able to do because you've been, you know, working or whatever involved in life and now life has basically stopped for a period of time so let's see what we can get for faith 
All right. What else can you tell the spirit about the card faith? Okay. Got a couple cards here. Five of Swords and Justice. Give me a minute while I get the energies of this, please. You know, I'm hearing for some for whom whomever this may resonate for, for some of you. And this may not resonate with, you know, all of you. And like I said, it's a general read, but take it resonates, leave what doesn't. There's something in your life. Well, first of all, there's something in your life that's out of balance. And you really need to be honest with yourself and the situation. Because it's almost as if you're taking um, a battle-like attitude. I mean, maybe you've been wronged in some way, and you're ready for battle. You're ready to go to war. But when I'm hearing with that, let me see what the... Yeah, you need to walk away from that. Maybe you need to walk away from a person or a situation. And this is a good time to really set that, manifest and set that into motion. What do you really want um, in your life? This, to me, sounds, it's tumultuous. It sounds like it's got you, you out of balance. Your, your mind and your emotions are just all over the place. And justice is also about truth. It's about um, being true to yourself, being true to the situation. It can also indicate a legal situation. Um, maybe you've been going through some sort of legal battle uh, in court or whatever. And whether that's ending or not... Uh, now's a good time to move forward from that and manifest, leave that behind. The past is the past. Leave that in behind and start thinking of ways that you could move forward from that. But be true to yourself for sure. I'm hearing justice will prevail. And even if it's not a court situation, justice will prevail. Just have some faith. Just have some faith, but you're going to have to balance out your emotions and your thoughts are really have you in a uh, tumultuous state of mind. It's like you're going through constant battles daily. You're going to have to dig deep within you. Dig deep within your soul. Dig deep. And I mean dig. It may not be comfortable, you know. Sometimes you've got things going on inside, and when you touch on that, it's very uncomfortable. That's a good thing, though. That means that's something you need to work through, and then you can have some battle. You need to move away from this. Call me. Doesn't, don't, don't, even, don't even buy into maybe the person that you're dealing with is, oh, look at that. Lighten the load like the fool. Brand new start. Look at the rainbow. The sun shining. The leprechaun has not a, care, not a, a worry in the world, not a care in the world. Um, taking a leap of faith forward and unloading emotional baggage, maybe toxic thoughts that are haunting you, and just travel light. Take a devil may care attitude. You know? Leave that leave that part of your life behind. And just calmly move forward. Work calmly work through the emotions. Work through the emotions. Go towards the light. And that light is going towards the new moon. This is a good time to do that. Creation. Oh, there's, there we go. Oh, there we go. Creation. Self-love. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Self-love. It's a new beginning. It could also mean new love. But basically, the Ace of Cups is... I mean, look at that cup. This is yourself. Find ways to fill your own cup. That's... Strange. Oh, this must have come out with it. Interesting. I didn't even see that. It fell over here, though. Have faith, but it's, it's meant for the um, creation. But I'm going to kind of put that in the center. It's the Six of Cups, which is about the past. Um, memories, the past. I'm hearing, with that, I am hearing, leave that in the past. Have faith that your future will work out. The future is going to be better. But you have to have faith. You have to have faith in the process. You have to have faith in spirit, um, in the universe. 
that everything will work out fine. You know, you've been going through some battles here and something's way out of balance. And, um, but that's in the past. That's something in the past. And maybe those past memories are still haunting you. Because again, this, these are timeless. Time is an illusion. And I didn't get that far because I was, you know, wanted to start. Time is an illusion and energy is fluid. Some of this may have already happened to you, to some of you. Some of you may be going through this right now. Maybe none of this has happened. It's going to happen, you know, it's going to be happening at some time. And no matter when you watch this, these are timeless videos. So whenever you watch this and you click on it, it is most likely when you are guided to watch it, most likely when there's very well could be a message in there for you. And if it resonates and, and it does, that's the message that was meant for you at that time. Because on the bottom here we have the, uh, yep, the Three of Cups. It's a time of celebration. Under that is the devil. The devil is kind of like the Debbie Downer, you know? And that's the Debbie Downer thoughts in your head. It's holding you back from being able to move forward and be able to celebrate life again. This is a very difficult time for everybody. But we have the new moon coming. This is a great time to take risks and to start um, to commit to personal goals and start planning those out so you can move forward. Um, and this is self-love. It's time of healing. It's a time of healing, a time of filling your own cup. And with that, your cup will overflow and all these create your own happiness is what I'm hearing. Create your own happiness. Creation. And then you're going to have celebration. Happy times. Celebrating with family, friends, even by yourself. Me, myself, and I. <laughs> just saying, just saying. But the devil is trying to put a damper on it. Those are your toxic thoughts. The devil. Okay. Under that, there very, very briefly, is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is, um, is a, a independence and being content where you are. Find, thing, find the positive in your life right now. And, and think of things that you could eliminate from your life or you want to change, get rid of, whatever that may be. Play spirits and cards for discernment. Uh, or a card. Oh, not that many. <laughs> we'll take these, though. We'll take these. And that one wanted to come out, too, so I will take that. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, my cards are really tripping out here. All right. I'll get to the bottom of the deck in a minute. Well, let me let me do the bottom. This is the energy because that's the end here. So this is the overall energy of this. Absolutely, the moon. So the moon is very much an energy of a mystery, darkness. Um, you've been in the dark. You've been in the dark. You've been illusioned by something. What you thought was isn't actually what it was. Because with the moon, you were in the dark. And I'm hearing we're in the dark. You could, you know, maybe you haven't realized this yet. But um, you were in the dark about something. But the good thing about the moon is um, uh, it also indicates that in time you will be illuminated. In other words, um, the closer you get to, and the best example I can give is if you're walking out at night, especially if it's a new moon because it's going to be dark, very dark. Uh, full moon, you get a little bit more light. You can see a little bit better. But, um... If you're in the dark walking out at night and you see like a plant or a bush or something, many times your eyes can see it as almost like an animal. Sometimes if it's big enough, it can look like a human or a person standing there. But the closer you get to it, then you're illuminated. You can see it better. And you realize that wasn't what I thought it was. That was not what I thought it was. And now that I'm closer, I can see that. That's the moon energy. The moon energy is um, about being illusioned by something but eventually you will be illuminated and with the moon eventually comes the sun a new day and you will see it also with the moon you may want to pay attention to your uh, dreams the moon is about subconscious right now pay attention to your dreams uh, maybe even synchronicities that are coming to you um, that can give you messages that you don't they're not obvious messages but you keep seeing certain numbers or you keep hearing a certain song or certain words. Pay attention to those. And it's also about intuition. Be in tune with your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? All right. We have a few cards that came face up and then one that came face down. We have death. Absolutely. Something needs to end here. You're going through, for those that just be discerning in your, get your head out of the clouds. Get your head out of the clouds. See for what it is. 
be discerning and you're, that has to end. This has to end. Whatever these battles are, whatever this battle type energy is. Um, so it could be just something within you or it could be a situation that is making your life out of balance. You know, and because these are swords, it could very well be uh, negative thoughts in your head. So it may not be anybody else involved. It may just be you. Again, take it as it resonates. Don't make it apply to your situation, but think about what is here in the reading and say, well, I'm not with anybody, but there you go. Um, but I have had some negative thoughts. It's time for that to end and for a transformation. Okay. Because I am hearing be discerning with your thoughts. Um, well, I'll move on here. You have the wheel. Um, it's fate. This was fated. This was meant to happen this way. And with the, um, and I'll get to that card in a minute. With the wheel, though, is the wheel is almost like time. Time is always moving forward. It is an illusion, but it's always moving forward. It's like the the phases of the moon. You know, you could stop dead in your tracks, but that's not going to stop the earth from revolving, right? Um, and it's like the seasons. Well, you know, we just, we're now in spring. Do a spring cleaning. Perfect time. Because we are on quarantine. I call it lockdown. I know it's not an official lockdown. I got into a little bit of a debate yesterday. I'm using the word lockdown because it's a mandatory thing for a lot of us. But, um, okay, shelter in place is just too damn long to say. And it just sounds like it's optional. Shelter in place sounds like optional to me. And it's, you know, whatever. So I'm going to use the word lockdown. But for those of us who have to be homebound, because even, even if we don't want to go out of our own accord, this is a good time to do your spring cleaning. Material stuff in your home? Because that can mess up the energy, too. And I'm guilty of that. Guilty! Um, but it's time to spring clean your soul, your thoughts, your heart, everything. You know, put it aside and go, okay, I want this and this and this. I'm not going to think about that anymore. That is not, um, that's not helping me. That's in the past. It's not helping me. You're carrying all that excess baggage. Uh, this is emotionally draining to me. Okay. I am feeling angry right now. I'm feeling sad, whatever the emotion may be. And, you know, acknowledge it. It's not ignore it. Don't deny it. Acknowledge it and say, but what can I do about it now? What can I do moving forward? Right? We can't change the past. You know, and I'm guilty of that too. I'm still, I still do that. You know, I'll be, I'll be in bed and be chilling. All of a sudden thoughts will pop into my head. I have to physically tell myself, is this really helpful to you, Kelly? Really? You can't do anything about it. Why obsess on it? And I'm very guilty of that. So, um, anyways, so this is a good time to spring clean. And the Wheel of Fortune is... What I say is if you don't spin, you can't win. You need to take some chances. This is a good time to be bold, be courageous, and say, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not being in this relationship. Whatever. You pick and choose. I'm not dealing with that anymore. I'm not letting this person treat me. I'm not this. I'm not that. Just be bold and courageous. You know, Aries, are very, Aries is the ram. It's about pushing forward and... It's not that Aries are bad people. So any of you Aries out there, I have an Aries moon. So, you know, uh, I understand. Um, but they're the, you're the ram, Aries. They push forward at basically any cost. Sorry, move out of my way. If you're going to be idiotic enough to stand in my way, I can't help it if I trample over you. I can't help it if I stepped on your foot and now you're all, you know, ass bent hurt. Sorry. And it's not that they're cold hearted. They're not. Aries are not cold-hearted. They're just wanting to get to where they want to get to. And I'm sorry if you happen to be in the way. I may push you down. But you just kind of have to take that attitude right now. And the King of Pentacles? The King of Pentacles is... Um, he knows exactly... It's he. Now, it's a masculine energy. It has nothing to do with your particular gender. We all have feminine and masculine energies within us, very briefly. We usually resonate with one more than the other, regardless of your physical gender. So I'm saying he, he, the king is a masculine energy. So it's almost like you have to take a, a um, um, that's the discernment, I think. Um, because with Aries energy, you're going to want to push forward. Okay. This is a good time to plan and be courageous. Maybe take some risk you normally wouldn't take, but you don't want to go haphazard forward. You want to make sure you think about 
The king is very much an energy of knowing exactly what he wants, being a little more logical and analytical about it, where he thinks about the steps he needs to take to get from point A to point B. You know, I'm not going to go forward without making sure everything, all my ducks are in a row, everything's in place. Financially, emotionally, mentally, just get that all together. This, again, this is a good time. you got a couple weeks before the new full moon, before the full moon, and you have time to plan this out and really think about. And by that time, hopefully, this corn thing will be lifted. So it's kind of perfect, really, that the full moon is going to happen at approximately the time that, I mean, it's two weeks from now, from the 24th. Um, but approximately about the time that's hopefully going to be lifted. I mean, you don't know. Um, you got to be a little flexible here. But he's very patient. The King of Pentacles is very grounded and very patient. Now, underlying that, absolutely. Look at that. Look at the masculine energy here. King of Swords. More masculine energy. Taking a logical approach. Being very conscious of mentally. Not letting the emotions. So the King of, of Pentacles does have emotion. But he uses that to his advantage. This is what I want. This is what I really want. He knows in his heart what he really wants. But he's willing to wait for it and take the necessary steps to get there without running forward. The Knight of Wands, Wands energy or fire signs, they're a little bit more rash in moving forward. They want to hurry up and get there. And don't want to have to think about this or that. I don't want to stop signs. I don't want to have to deal with any obstacles. I just want to move forward. But that can sometimes be a detriment to yourself. Because then you sort of miss things along the way, possibly. The King of Swords is, um, he is moving forward, but he's more in his head about things. He doesn't let emotions fuel his actions. So there's the balance, you know, balancing your thoughts, balancing um, the emotions, and um, being able to move forward, but in a very planned and calculated way. I'm going to get a few more cards. Messages from Spirit here. All right. Let's just see what Spirit. Maybe a few cards, Spirit, that can... Um, messages from the universe, I'll say. Let's get a few. Okay, we'll take these. Bottom of the deck. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Moving forward from rough, water, rough waters to calm waters. And you see what's behind the person here? That's the full moon. Slowly move forward. Calmly move forward. And this is a good time. We can't really do a whole lot right now. And underneath that, victory. You will be victorious. If you do this in a planned out, and, and I hate this word, but mindful manner, really think about what it is you want and be honest with yourself about what you want and your situation, it, it, you'll be just fine. Oh, my Lord. There's a Six of Cups again. Six of Cups. Page of Cups. And the Ten of Pentacles. Hold on, I'm hearing a couple of things here. You know, the Page of Cups is a very young energy. Almost immature. It's it's almost like the Page of Cups is um, maybe like a teenager or college age type energy. Um, very much, um, well, kind of like into fantasizes about what they would like to happen. More like maybe the fairy tale, whether it's romance, but kind of like a, this is what I wish would happen. But what I'm hearing here, interestingly enough, or whoever, whomever this resonates for, okay, so this is a different energy than the Six of Cups. This is leaving the past in the past, have faith. This is moving in the future. And what is it in your past or something, I'm hearing this specifically, something in your past that you always wanted to do always wanted to do never got the chance to do it never felt it was something you could do um maybe it's a childhood dream or you know that's why i'm saying this is like a young dream maybe you had dreams of doing whether you were a teenager or in college or even it doesn't even it could be past college but just say even your 20s and moving forward you thought you know i always wanted to do this um, take a trip or do this career. I've always wanted to paint. I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel. <laughs> um, and that's a young energy of something in your past. You know, you, you dream of things that when I get older, I'm going to do this. When I grow up, I want to do this. Well, guess what? 
Now's that time. Take the risk. If you have a job, don't quit your job if you still have one. So if you want a new career, think about the steps. Maybe you could go back to school. Maybe you could squeeze that in with work. I mean, we're, we're adults. We have to We have to do adult. We have to do adulting things um, because it is going to be, and I'm hearing financially abundant for you. This could, it could be something that was a hobby. So it's going to be emotionally fulfilling for you internally. It's going to, it's going to feed your soul, but it's also possibly going to give you some financial, maybe some extra money, but financially, this is abundance in every way. And a lesson that has been completed has been learned. And I'm thinking that you, for whomever this resonates for, you are doing a shitload of growing and self-realization. It's a very, very strong, positive energy. Okay. And um, then I'm going to pull some Secret Destiny cards. I hope I don't get interrupted. I hope I can finish this because this is a beautiful reading and I don't want to have to stop it. And um, if I have to stop it, I may just post this and, and continue. It's a beautiful reading. Um, for, I'm just going to very quickly, for example, I wanted to do a YouTube channel. I've always been into tarot cards. I've always done readings. I've, I've studied it here and there and kind of did, I've done readings, you know, with friends and, and well, I don't know about family, but uh, just friends. <laughs> um and uh, I don't even get into their their stuff, <laughs> um, but uh, but in 2018, July of 2018, somebody sent me a book. Um, she sent me um, a tarot deck, and I lived with the roommate. But I did readings uh, when he would leave. He would go to shows and whatever, and I would do them there at the house. But my phone would not hold enough. Um, it didn't have enough memory on it, uh, or whatever. I couldn't get the phone to work where I would be recording and it would just shut off. You know, I started reading it would shut off. So if you look in my about section, it'll, it says that I started July, 2018, which I did. That was my intention, but it didn't happen because, and then things in my life happened where I did not have access to internet. I, I just hadn't have it. I was, I don't even want to get in. I can tell you someday I won't get into my history, but I just wasn't able to do it. This year was the year that I finally decided I'm going to do it. I finally got the opportunity. I have internet. I have my, you know, a, good, a stable place right now, temporarily at least to live. And I said, I'm going to do it. But that was something I always had wanted to do. I finally decided to do it. A little intimidating and scary, yes. But it was I wanted to do it so much that it was like, you know, I get the message out to y'all. Here we are. Okay, so that's same thing. And if maybe it's a YouTube channel, uh, just do it. Think of, I mean, I thought about it, you know. I And then I purchased some more um, tarot cards. I, I invested in some Oracle cards at Christmas time. I got uh, a Barnes & Noble gift card. And, um, so I'm little by little investing in it and I, I, I want to get definitely a lot more tarot cards and Oracle decks, um, you know, to keep expanding and, um, you know, plan ahead. So I, I'm hoping you get that, that, um, gist there that it, it could be something in your past that you wanted to do. And it doesn't even have to be from your childhood. It can just be something from your past, a dream you've always had. Now, now is the time to do it. I'm hearing now is the time. All right, spirits in the universe, what message or messages, extra messages, do you have for those during the new moon period? So going towards the new moon and up to the full moon and still moving forward, because I'm not saying that's going to happen in two weeks, but now is the time to start planning, to start manifesting what you want. Now here comes the noise. Oh, damn it. People are out and about again. It's been nice and quiet here. <laughs> I don't understand why people talk so damn loud. Seriously? All right. Opportunity. <laughs> Sorry. Opportunities at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. Focus and adventures. I'm loving this, but the bottom of the deck is this is an opportunity. Wow. 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 Opportunity to take risks. Take risks. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. And I'm telling you, it does have to do with, and success is underneath that. For all of you this resonates for, this is the opportunity. This is the opportunity of a lifetime to take risks because you will be successful. I mean, it's all right here in the cards. I'm not making this up. And you know what? Underneath that's inner peace. It's going to give you a sense of inner peace. So by eliminating something out of your life or eliminating those negative thoughts, Whatever the case may be, you are making room for so many opportunities. Maybe not even just one, but this is an opportunity of a lifetime. This time that we have, focus on what you want. I mean, really focus on you, your life, and what you really want. And take those adventures. Take risks. 
It's a time of adventures, people. It's a time of adventures. Well, well, well. So, I hope this helped you in some way. And for those who like this and it resonated for you, please smash that like button. I would appreciate it. It gives me feedback, which I love because it, it lets me know you like this or it resonated. T comment in the bottom, please, and let me know if it resonated. If you like these moon readings, um, it gives me feedback so I know what y'all want, what y'all like. And I love if it resonates for you. Beautiful. I would love to hear that. Uh, feedback is much appreciated by me. And you're helping me <clears throat> by liking and commenting. You're helping the channel grow. All right. And I want this to be a forum and a community for all of us to get the messages and then eventually be able to do my live readings, my live streams, and we can hang out. And as Remy suggests, oh, please don't fall down, Remy. I think Remy's drunk. I think Remy drinks. Remy might have a drinking problem. We may have to have a little talk later. <laughs> I have no problem with drinking, but not on the job. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get a little humor in, in life here. Remy says, subscribe and join the tribe. I would love for you to subscribe and join the tribe. You know, um, and hit the bell icon button to get more notifications so you can know, you know when I upload videos. But I would love for you to subscribe. I would appreciate that. And, um, you know, maybe you, you never know when a reading comes up that, you you know, you may be laying there and thinking, oh, poop, so-and-so did a reading. I'm just going to check it out. Let me see what it says. And it could be a reading. It could be a message for you. That could be your reading. You know, that's what I say, man. And I think that way when I am looking at, at new people that I'm not familiar with, I will subscribe. And then I'll check out a few of their videos. And, you know, you don't like it. You can always unsubscribe. I don't recommend that. <laughs> I have, I've only done that with a couple. But um, I don't know. It was just their style. I didn't know if they were serious about it. So that's the only reason. Um, but, you know, you never know. And, you know, you never know when the message is going to be for you. So I highly encourage you to subscribe and join the tribe. Okay? Um, let me know what kind of readings you, you really like. And uh, share if you would. I would love that. This could be for everyone because it is a, a moon reading, a moon phase reading. It is for the new moon coming on March 24th in Aries. So it's all about being bold and taking risks. And this is the time. Whatever it is you have wanted to do, people, this is the time. And these two weeks are a good time to really think about and plan. I'm doing that myself. And you know what? I do rewatch my videos so I can pick and choose what I liked about the video myself. I critique myself. And then I will watch other people's videos. I've watched quite a few. I have my favorites. Divine Conversations, Tyler's Tarot, Elisa Jane, Pink Pineapple's Cool. Those are just a few. Um, they're good at what they do. They've got great vibes. Elisa Jane, though, if you don't like swearing, uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> she's really good, but she's very bold, forward, and she curses a lot. I don't care. I like people who are up front and, um, you know, but whatever. Those are just a few, but I listen to them regularly. Um, so there you go. And uh, check out my channel. If you're new, thank you again for tuning in. If you're new, go check out my channel, go on a playlist, and look at the different playlists, and, and then, then you can decide. You know, I, I encourage you to subscribe now while you're here. It's just easier, you know, like, subscribe, bell button, <laughs> and you're all set. But, you know, go and check it out. Check out the playlists, and I have them all categorized so it's easier to find, hopefully, um, and check it out, you know, check out a few videos, see if you like it, and then maybe you want to wait, then you can subscribe if you, if you like it. Um, but I would appreciate, I appreciate, uh, and thank you to all my uh subscribers so far i appreciate i appreciate the support and i love that you like what i do i'm whole, i'm assuming that's why you subscribed um but and i'd like to do again more of what you want okay thank you so much for tuning in i love you all and have a beautiful a weekend and uh moving towards the new moon which is tuesday i believe march 24th is a tuesday uh in aries so remember it's a time of risk taking if you've been thinking about taking this risk the new moon is a good time and this reading is saying now's the time Now's the time to do it. Take that chance. You have no idea what opportunities may come from that. And underneath that is success. And we had the victory card earlier. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Mwah! Peace out to you all. 